watching NHK World News Line. It's 9 a.m. here in Tokyo. I'm Sherry Yan. The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant remains serious. On Saturday, the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency said a considerably high level of radioactivity was detected in seawater near the plant. First, let's take a look at the latest footage. Fukushima Daiichi this is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. We are filming from a distance of 30 kilometers away. To the left, we have reactor number one. To the right, we have reactor number four. As we observe the site, from an aerial distance, we can observe white steam arising from all of the uh, reactors. Workers attempting to cool reactor number one, number two, and number three began using fresh water instead of seawater as of Saturday. At reactors number two, number three, and number four, the switch over to fresh water to cool spent fuel storage pools is also expected to be completed as early as Sunday. One reason for the switch is to prevent salt from building up inside the reactors and affecting its cooling capability. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it's vital to restore the external power supply in order to cool the reactors in a stable manner. The company is planning on Sunday to remove water contaminated with highly radioactive materials from the turbine buildings next to reactors 1 and 2. The water is hampering efforts to bring the situation under control. Reactor number 1, 2, and 3 of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In the basement of the turbine building, there is highly radiated water forming a puddle. On the 24th, three workers have been irradiated. In reactor number 1 and number 3, high radiation 10,000 fold of water in and around the reactor have been found. And this is stalled work to restore power from external power source. Dark Electric Power Company is rushing ahead work to remove the water. In reactor number one, in the basement of the turbine building, they have installed a temporary pump in order to extract water. And they will be using the condensate to collect the water. The water will be pumped into the condensate to contain the water. And the same work will also be continued for reactor number two. This regulator official says that the condensate equipment will be used. The condensate equipment is generally used in order to convert vapor into water. And the condenser is the equipment in which the extractive water will be stored. In reactor number three, they will study ways in order to remove the water. In reactor, in Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, 330 kilometers south of the water outlet, high levels of radiation, 1,250.8 fold of the nationally set standard have been found and this is the radioactivity level for radioactive iodine-131. According to the regulator, if a person were to consume one liter of this uh, dosage, this would be far in excess of the uh, nationally permitted one millisieverts worth of a dosage. And they have been found in traces of water that have been going out from the second reactor. 50 millisieverts worth of radiation have been detected on a per hour basis around the site. And they were trying to detect the source of the leakage. NHK World's Yoshiyuki Yamasaki gives us his analysis of the latest developments at the nuclear power plant.